Hello, Buzzcocks, my name is Halsus here, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. And you can see we are backlogging red and green circuits for the blue circuit production. But why are not we not producing any? That's because this pipe is empty. And I think today might be another of those episodes where we go around and uh, and fix things. So let's head over or up to where the sulfuric acid is produced that we are lacking at the moment uh, and see what's what's going on there. So here we have the setup for our refinery. We do have the iron here, but looks like we are missing the uh, petroleum gas. Yeah, those tanks are empty. These are full. So hopefully what we can do is... Let's copy this and I think these ones they are pretty much empty so let's remove them and maybe add another oil field um, that we can use um, or at least do something like this um, so that we at least have some of them still in use and then probably want to remove that pipe there because then we should be able to do that and that works nicely because here we can have the water input uh, need a few more refineries, uh, apparently also some tanks. This piece we don't need, because that's for the, the lubricant production and I think we do have enough lubricant, lubricant for now. Um, what we then also want is... Oh, didn't I copy the lower part here? Apparently not. Um, don't need that tank there. And also need some pipes. So I will grab some materials so that we can finish that off. Maybe we don't need these tanks here. And hopefully that should help with our shortage of sulfuric acid. All right, I think I have everything. All that's missing is a bit of power. And I set this up with uh, power stations. Um, so if that works yeah refineries are all working and we basically pull in the crude oil from here and around and then in this setup i decided we don't need any heavy oil or light oil so everything should be converted to uh, to uh, uh, petroleum gas because that's what we are lacking 
And by the looks of it, our tanks are getting fuller, which means we are producing uh, sulfuric acid. And with sulfuric acid, we then should also be producing uh, blue circuits. And we have been working in the last few episodes on the red circuits. And they are looking pretty good. They are stacked up here on the input. We uh, replaced the assemblers with the, with the highest tier added productivity. And now it looks like they are not fast enough to cope with the material input. And that's also a bit of a problem for the blue circuits because you can see the delivery stations, they are empty. And if we are looking at where the trains are, I mean, we only have three trains, that's probably not enough. One is at green circuits. We need quite a lot of green circuits. But then basically two trains are waiting to load red circuits. So the bottleneck here, at least at this point, seems the red circuits that we cannot get them produced fast enough. And down here we also started uh, with uh, upgrading the machinery uh, and the productivity. But I think what we will do for now is grab a few beacons. We can place them here in between. Uh, that makes one beacon uh, for two assemblers. Um, here we will place it down there um, and here we could probably even get away with two beacons per assembler. Then up here with the uh, unloading, we are back to one beacon per sample. Then here on the top row, we could again have two. And maybe that's something one beacon short. Of course, not enough red circuits. And I need a tiny bit of copper cables. Oh, let's put that back in here. And then I think we should have enough uh, speed modules Mark three piled up so we can add them to the beacons because we have been producing speed modules um, for the same amount of time as we have productivity modules but so far we have not used any of those and in my experience in the in the long run you probably need quite a few more speed modules than uh, productivity modules because productivity can only go into the machines but the productivity or the speed sorry the speed they can go into the machine but also in beacons and you can have more than one beacon per assembler so usually two speeds things up 
There's quite a bit of uh, of beacon spam. So, and ooh, yeah, uh, I think fifty should do for now. And then let's add them, and we will have a look at uh, our output after a bit uh, until the the whole thing has stabilized a bit oh, oh that's that's copper wire that's a pole so here we are um, let's grab those and then do the same thing here again I mean the productivity that slows down the machines but at the same time produces more output for less input or uh, that's probably wrong it produces more output or the other way you could look at it it consumes less input to create that output so if we now have a look here um, we have a productivity of 40 percent and a crafting speed of minus 10 previously it was minus 40 so basically with one beacon uh, for two uh, assemblers we almost balanced out the negative of the productivity modules and we should actually see that uh, yeah we were pretty stable um, if we look look at this here we were pretty stable um, in the production of circuits then we had a drop down here not sure why now we are going up again and that should then also help the blue science production and with uh, blue science production on the rise again we can produce more modules and usually you label a, a large base by the amount of science pack the base can produce but another way to look at it is how many modules mark 3 can you produce because okay science pack that's that's a, a more general uh, uh, benchmark because there you need uh, a copper um, copper and iron uh, here again here you need stone uh, but then you also need uh, other things and uh, if you look at the modules modules are basically just uh, purely based on these uh, circuits and that's basically uh, iron copper plastic and uh, sulfuric acid so if you have plastic you probably also have sulfuric acid acid so it's it's not quite the same benchmark uh, but I, I I think it's also a, a, a valid uh, number to look at when when charging uh, a base so 
Let me wait a bit. Uh, and let me wait a bit up here with the with the modules. And we can also have a look at module production. Probably need this one. Actually, in the last hour we have not produced any Mark 3s. So you can see we have one peak and the peak is basically the same for uh, the productivity and the speed because both need the same ingredients and we deliver them here with one train so half of it goes to uh, productivity half of it goes to speed and only when a trains come comes in then we have this peak uh, otherwise we're idling but hopefully with this setup we should see more throughput and a uh, higher frequency of those peaks so let's wait and see or um, maybe find the next problem there we have a problem missing signals on a roundabout This that can cause a deadlock as you see here uh, we have quite a bit of uh, a train jam and all because this train cannot turn around because uh, of wrong signaling now this one uh, uh, moves on then this one can move on and that one can move on or that one and eventually all the trains will have moved about and the jam has disappeared it's a lot of these small things that uh, keep me occupied and uh, at least in the in the past few episodes there was always something to do uh, similar to this which it just did not make it into into the episode but now let's wait and see if our uh, module frequency increases Looking at the production of our modules, module 3, um, uh, as we saw, it does not matter which one we look at, uh, we can now see previously there was about one and a half hours of downtime where we did not produce anything, and that has shrunken down to one hour. And we should see something similar for the red circuits. There we had high peaks um, and then maybe there we were at uh, uh, 308 and basically the lowest point we now are uh, are also at 308 but overall we are above that especially if we just look at the at the last hour we are at 450 around uh, and if we look also at the blue ones uh, there we still have these uh, these peaks um, but we go higher and uh, hopefully this uh, this downtime here 
is not as long as uh, the ones that that we had in the in the past so we are actually producing more so uh, over 10 hours the average was about uh, 30 uh, processing units per minute and if we look in the last hour it was also 30 okay so maybe not that big effect there yet but i also had a look at this here and what i can see is we are passing through the the coal and basically nothing is stockpiled and we only can uh, fuel a few refineries which indicates that we might have not enough miners here so let's add a few more and we also need a power pole there in the middle uh, that should at least double the coal output and uh, maybe we get a bit more out of uh, this here but i think this episode is long enough so i uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll tune in next time where we will find something to do for sure until then goodbye